Let's ask our tour guide the difference between mambo and jumbo. Uh oh, uh oh. That's blessing, that's blessing. Yes, my brother Sharif, we got a good question for you, Sharif. Uh, one of our members want to know what's the difference between mambo and jumbo. Mambo means how are things. How are mm. things. Jumbo means hello. Oh, okay. Mambo, yeah, yeah. how yeah, are yeah. things. Yeah. Jumbo, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go, fam. Is that simple and smooth? Love it. Wow. The whole stone city family. Yeah. Sigjo Zanzibar. You do soccer jerseys? I got a collection of soccer jerseys for every country, bro. Yeah, man, this is the order of the day. And then I got all these ones now. Represent the energy. And family, I know it. When you, when you walk around here, it's so tempting to see so many nice things. But if we ever uh, stop, we're not going to finish our walking tour. So once we move certain places, now we have more flexibility to shop because there's a whole city full of shopping. Got my good brother Sharif here. Uh -huh. So one of the things we love about uh, our journey is now we try to do more walking and just nature. They even got an organic spice The Spice Hotel. I should have shot the organic spice. Look at these balconies. Look at these balconies. It's crazy, right? Beautiful, it's, bro. It's like you only see these in like some of these ancient movies. movies. Yeah. Well, the only thing I worry about is how stable they are since they've been around for so long. Oh, that's the Spice Hotel. Yes, the Spice Hotel. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to room there. Can I go? Yes. Some of all these houses were people's properties. So when the tourism started here, some of the buildings are sold as a hotel. I see more than some of you too. Yeah. yeah. It's my videos that you saw, right? Hopefully. Because <laughs> I've been documenting over here. It's been trying to do a trend setting things family and trying to get you into also East Africa because our legacy and connection has always been a lot of food. like my sister say West Africa but we're trying to get you more into East Africa also and as much as I love West Africa there's no place in West Africa like Zanzibar so that's the unique thing about Africa we take you around the continent and you get a different feel of different countries so many streets, very narrow, ah. everywhere, and it's to get lost, otherwise we get used to. Yeah, yeah so yeah. people that we... So this is how the, the Arab build the uh, house. The first time we came here, we, had, we, we were lost. This is the it's, and, and, then it's, and then it started it started raining too, so we were separated by the rain. It was... <laughs> it, was, it, was it wasn't easy? Half of us got lost, because people are running everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how people know where they're going, honest. How do people know where they're going? Uh, is, it, um, is it the signs? How do you know where you're going? Ah, uh, this is a fine Because I wouldn't know where, you know? This is not a sign. This is a Dao country's musical academy. So if you go to, walk to that area. Here there's no signs, but uh, people they know themselves. Yeah, they've been living here for a while. This street is called so and so, this street is so called. But some have put a, a, a sign. That's why we don't recommend anyone do any of these tours or do anything without a proper tour guide. Uh, spend the money on your tour guide because you can save your life because you will get lost. It's very difficult here to walk around. You can walk around for hours and still not find an exit out of here. <laughs> This street is called Burundi. 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 And see, we wouldn't know that because there's no signs. Yo, oh, no. family, look at this one right here. Yes, young man. Wow. 
Come on, don't you want to get in? Don't you want to? Don't you want to go take a, get get in the picture? This kind of door is called an Indian Gujarati door. Indian Gujarati door because of the number of rooms, but also lovely molding. I mean pattern on top there. So it's called the Indian Gujarati door. And that door there is called Indian door because all Indian door around on top with a lot of specs. Arab are square. Ah, uh, Indian Arab. Indian Gujarati door are square, but. Uh, different on, on model on top there. Yeah. So original of this house right. was owned by Ahmed bin Uman, who was this a Zanzibar. Guy, this guy. He was a Zanzibar a, envoy to the United States. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was a Zanzibar envoy to the United States in 1840. So he used to live, he, he, he possessed that building. Mm -hmm. But after the 1964 revolution in Zanzibar, all houses have been taken by the government, as I told you before. So some building is sometimes has been released as a mosque, which is now a mosque. Mm -hmm. Some building has been released as a school. Like that building is a school. And some has, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. some building has arisen as a hospital, police station, and so on and so forth. Oh. But the rest are people's homes. Yeah, yeah. 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 look at this look at this Yeah. Oh. This is a small door. Huh? A small door. Sometimes they don't have to open the old. Oh, they just open this one. They just open this only half one here. And then they get inside. Yeah, I can see that too. So that is an Indian Pujirati door. Come on, help us. Come on, help us. Oh, yeah, I got you. There we go, family. There we go. I'll hold it. Can you um, help me with this one? I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the top part. No, look, I couldn't hold it. So that, to where you can get the top angle. There you go. So the family, we're going to continue our walk and tour, and we're right here in the academy area. And just like my brothers mentioned about the door, you just saw that one open in a little small little section. Hey, this is the only country like that. <laughs> the only country in the world that I know. Uh, like what? Oh, yeah, they said uh, this way. This way, this way. A black man can marry Arab woman here. No problem. For real? Yeah. I thought, said, I, was, no I, I thought I was against That's the laws was, of the he world. Said, he said, no, he said he got some of his family. He said, no, it's no problem. I've never seen that. Never. As a matter of fact, you're told, when I was in the uh, they're told, keep your eyes away from right. unless you want to lose some things. Right. <laughs> keep your eyes off the woman unless you want to have some problems. Right. But yeah, I did not know that. I thought it was a, a religious cultural thing that they were just completely against. <coughs> That's why I said that's some good footage right there, because I think it's the only place in the world. You yep. can't even do that in the United States. <laughs> Unless you want some promise on your hand. <laughs>